I got a package. Yes, I got a package from Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. Oh, and I got the hat. Look at the hat. Turn the light, Bob. Oh, look at that thing right there. That's, whoa, boy, that's banging, banging, banging. That thing is so cool. It make this face look almost all right. Almost. But not only in that package did I get this amazing chapeau i also got some amazing cigars and some stickers or some people call them slaps that's what the kids call them slaps but i tell you what if we're talking kid language it's bussin bussin right no cap i don't know what all that means skibbity toilet but <laughs> i got i got four amazing cigars and i thought i'd do a review why because i want to smoke a dang cigar right so we got a cute little sin compromise. Oh, we got the bronze back umbagog and we got the still will star aromatic. You see, there's three right there, right? There's three right there. You saw the thumbnail. You know what number four is. Number four is my number one cigar of last year. The Wagashi, Sober Mesa Wagashi, which, you know, I got the press release Sorry, I got the press release with all the information. We'll be reading about the blend real quick. And and it says it's from some Japanese blah, 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 who could do that day. And I got to tell you, I don't think that's what it is. I'm not saying that Steve Saka is telling half truce, mistruce, no truce at all. I'm not saying that. He's being truthful, but I think subliminally, subliminally, he heard me say in my South Carolina lingo, well, gosh, that's good, which sounds a lot like, well, gosh, it's good. Well, gosh, I got to smoke it. And this thing is amazing. A perfect setup from Dumbarton Tobacco and Trust and Cigar Dojo, Eric Gutmerson, right? So we got to use, oh, we got to use the Beta DTT cutter, right? Now I'm going to use the plus side. You got a negative side. You got a plus side. This thing has cut. Tons of cigars, sharper than sharp. You gotta watch your fingers, be or any other extremities, because you'll cut things off. It's only meant for tobacco. And if I cut enough tobacco, which I'm trying as hard as I can, I've got a spare blade. Fantastic, fantastic, phenomenal. That joker right there is good to go. Now let's light this thing and puff on this thing. Foot band, love the foot band. Don't love smoking it. So we're gonna get rid of it. Let me fire this thing up now. I will tell you right now, Steve Saka might watch this. Probably not. He's very busy taking over the world in tobacco. Uh, Dave Lafferty might watch it. He's probably busy trying to not get fired by Steve Saka. If you followed the the recent annals of the trips, uh, Dave Lafferty was like, oh, please don't fire me. And you know what? Dave's awesome. There ain't no way he's going to get let go. He's just the man. But I will toast this thing up extremely well. Because Steve Saka says, and I agree with him, he says that when you light a cigar, he says, I'm not going to tell you how to smoke your cigar. It's your business. Because what I am going to do is I'm going to ask you, or I'm going to suggest to you that you toast it up really well. Why? Because you want to get that tobacco as good as possible, toasted up and ready to go so it has the best chance of giving you the perfect smoking experience. Because let's face it, he don't want you to have a subpar experience. He wants you to have the perfect experience experience the experience without compromise that's right so we have toasted it toasted it and i'm about to puff it i love this thing mm. you were so good oh that green minty fresh it doesn't taste like mint but boy howdy and that smoke you could cut it with some scissors. If it was tension, it'd be tense. It'd be terse. It would be a bad time. But it's not tension. This is a tension reliever. Better than a massage, better than therapy, and a whole lot cheaper than both. And it'll last you about an hour if you take your time. I like to take my time a lot, and when I want to smoke it right, I like to take my time to smoke it right, to puff on pace. It tastes so good, that little green band, smoking like it should. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. You've already clicked off. I don't blame you because my singing, I have a face for radio and a voice for mimes, but. Hmm. 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 Oh, wow. All right, so get into it real quick.
Real quick, real quick. I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. I'm going to let you get back to your day. Turn this light a little bit. Yeah, I don't look as good in the, in the brightness. But the wrapper is an Ecuadorian. He says, Kappa. Kappa. Not not people from up north the Mason-Dixon line talking about police. The cop is coming. No, the cop of the rapper. Ecuadorian Connecticut Shade G2 RW. That was one of the droids that didn't make it on Star Wars. No, it's not. It's some tobacco variety. The Capote. Not Truman Capote. The Capote. The Binder. San Andreas Negro. Ooh. Love some Mexican San Andreas. And the Trippa. Not falling on things. Not taking a journey. But the filler, the tripa, right? We're learning language today. The capa is the wrapper. Repeat after me. The capote is the binder. And here's the last one. The tripa is the filler, which is select grades only of Nicaraguan tobacco. Now, I'm not going to talk about the flavor profile. I am going to tell you this is a 6x50 delicious and delectable and delightful cigar. Not only does it look great in the humidor, it tastes great in your palate. Mmm. 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 Creamy. All right. You got the you got the Sober Mesa, the OG, still an amazing cigar. Elegante and Cedro is in my rotation. It's in my little my little humidor right over there. Right off my desk. Um when I'm editing, which I can't stand. I don't do well, as you can see. In my editing, I'll need something that just makes life better, and I will grab that faster than most anything else. But then you had the brulee, a little sweeter, right? There was a there was a thought that Steve Saki ingested gummy bears and Swedish fish and some other things, and, and allowed his whatever to infuse into the um, tobacco, which is not true. It's not sweetened. It's just delicious. It's a different way to age that tobacco it takes longer that's why it's not done very often it's old school steve sock is without compromise right it's in compromiso fantastic cigar as well oh so good so good all right so what was i saying oh you had the brulee so it's brulee then this sober race of brulee blue, which just blew me out the water. That thing was amazing. That little tingle, that little, that little brightness, that little, oh, oh, just just a little bit extra. Still, still in your mouth, still full, still delicious, still engaging. But it just had that almost otherworldly experience. It really did. And then you had the wagashi. And the wagashi. To me, to me, took a step back from that blue. It it it, it kind of slid in between the, the blue and the brulee. Still had the same DNA of the Sober Mesa all the way through in the experience of the flavors as they wafted across my palate, dancing. Not like that lady from Australia in the Olympics, but... You know, Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers dancing. Sorry. Anyway. The creamy toastiness, the creaminess cannot be denied. It's in there. But there's a... It's a little bit, a little bit. And I'm glad it's a little bit because it's in balance. A little bit of bonfire char, a little toastiness, maybe, maybe, maybe a little toastiness. Just a little bit. You know when the bonfire goes out and there's just a little embers and you just got that little smell or maybe you're closed the next day after you've been hanging out at the bonfire, you just put that, that flannel back on you. Ooh, that smell good, right? It's, it's, it's that in a flavor. There's a, bit of, a little bit of woodsiness. A little bit of oakiness. Now, I'm not chewing on oak boards. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a beaver. But it's that... Ex yeah, oakiness. I got to explain myself. Is there a leather, a minerality, a turned earth? Maybe if I'm reaching. A little raisins, maybe. 
maybe a little bit of the golden raisin because there's a sweetness to it. It's it's not you know you got the leatheriness, but it's sweet leather. And once again, I don't go walking around chewing on boots and saddles, but it's like a hint of that smell in a saddle shop, right? That oh right, it's just it's just all in there. But what it is, it's it it is it is just delicious if you're somebody who leans towards the golf cigar the lighter wrapper cigar you want to step up just a little bit into a little bit heavier you want to get in the deeper end of the pool maybe quit tiptoeing in this will be something that would lead you right in that direction if you are a heavy heavier blend smoker you like that full substantial beefy i know i smoked a cigar cigar but you know what you're just saying? You know, I just want something that's just a little bit different. I want to try something. I mean, let's face it. We are diversified in what we like. We don't have to like just one thing. I like pizza. I like steak. I like chocolate cake. So why can't I like different types of cigars? And I do. And you do too. And that's okay. And so this would be good for you when you wanted something a little bit less intense. Not less. Not less in flavor. I mean, I'm not a good cigar reviewer. I'll be the first one to tell you that. I'd recommend you watch somebody else. I do. I do. I just hope that you watch mine too because I need the views because I like to feel like I have friends. No, I don't care. But I do enjoy smoking cigars. And in enjoying smoking cigars, I like to have full flavor. I like to have something that engages me, that grabs a hold of me, and just lets me know that I'm smoking a cigar. Because let's face it, I've only got so much money. Right? And so if I'm putting down coin on on a cigar, I want to make sure that I get my, my return on investment, my ROI, right? But not only that, I can make more money, right? Pawn something, put in overtime. But I can't make more time. And that's more precious to me because as I get older, there's less left of it. And so I want to make sure that when I'm smoking a cigar, the cigar that I'm smoking is worth my time. Now, if I only smoked the same cigars I always smoked, I'd always have the experience I always had, but I wouldn't have the new experiences. Let's face it, if all I smoked was the first cigar Steve Saka made, which was a Sober Mesa, then I wouldn't have experienced the Total Celestias, the Mike Rita, the Bronze Back, the oh my gosh, all the, the Moisture de Sacas, all the everything else, right? And I wouldn't have tried this. And this is amazing. So I you try new things. But when you really want to get a cigar that's good to you, get a cigar that's good to you. And to me, this cigar is good to me. And I believe it'll be good to you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Steve Saka, love this cigar. You're awesome too. You are. So that's it. Family, you're phenomenal. You're fantastic. You make the world a better place. And that's the truth. And I will see you later because I got editing to do and I got cigar to smoke. And I am being selfish because I want to pay 100% attention to this. And I can't do that when I'm talking to you on my phone. But thanks for being here. I love you. Check out my other videos. I really need the views. I want to be popular. I don't care. So, I'll see you later. Loving the hat. Later, Tater. Mm, good stuff.